Hey guys, it's here. I still interview the LEGO Star Wars Elite TIE Fighter Pilot buildable figure. So this is the box uh, right here and as you can see, it's uh, recommended for just uh, 8 to 14 and this uh, 7 5 uh, 5 to 6 and yeah so uh, you got the very nice uh, background for the first order star destroyer and yeah uh, you got the buildable figure kind of logo at the bottom so yeah uh, so this is the top uh, showing you the head of the buildable figure and yeah so this is the side showing you the buildable figure itself and yeah so this is the back uh, shows you uh, some of the features uh, for the buildable figure but yeah aside from that uh, that's uh, pretty much it for the box so this is the instruction manual right here and yeah so uh, this is the first page and this is the final page of the build and you got the parts list uh, you got uh, some of the other buildable figures from the same wave uh, but aside from that, uh, that's uh, pretty much it for the instructions. So these are the extra pieces of uh, this set here. So there's uh, not uh, not very much for a buildable figure. But yeah, so uh, quite a lot of uh, Technic pieces here. You got uh, two of these uh, connector top pieces. Uh, you got this one with a stud. You got this axle kind of piece you got uh, this uh, con connector cylinder piece and you also got this uh, one by one plate piece but aside from that uh, that's uh, pretty much it for all of the extra pieces so this is the figure itself uh, right here and yeah let's start with the head so uh, the head here uh, you know you got a very nice uh, mold it looks great and it's uh, very accurate and uh, you have uh, two of these uh, red stripes which indicate that this is a first order uh, special forces uh, type pilot and yeah uh, you got uh, this uh, this tube right here which connects uh, to this uh, breathing uh, system or a uh, life support system I'm not quite sure but yeah um, you got two of these uh, printed pieces uh, right here and they do look great and yeah, I believe uh, they are exclusive to this set and yeah so on the shoulder here you got uh, these first order uh, logos and yeah um, it's on each side you know you got two of them and it looks uh, very nice and uh, the chest piece itself here doesn't have any print it's just and uh, it's just a uh, very plain chest piece in black and yeah, so uh, so are the legs, and they are all posable as well. You know, uh, just like all the uh, normal uh, buildable figures for uh, Star Wars. And yeah, they do they do move uh, pretty well. You can move the arm and stuff. And yeah, um, I'll remove the blaster. We'll take a look at that later. But yeah, so uh, the the back here you can see you got this uh, got this back uh, chest piece and yeah so here you can see how uh, this uh, uh, how the breathing system is uh, connected with uh, these Technic uh, axles and yeah it's um it, it's uh, it does look a little bit weird but yeah it's um it looks fine and yeah but uh, like aside from that that's uh, pretty much it for the figure itself so let's get to the blaster so uh, the blaster itself here I'm not quite sure if uh, it's um, accurate to the one that it's uh, in the movie but yeah these um, these kind of uh, these pilots uh, normally don't hold uh, bla blasters so yeah uh, this is a pretty big uh, blaster uh, this is a rifle so yeah but uh, the front you got uh, this grip right here you can kind of move it but you got uh, this trigger uh, just like all the other normal blasters uh, from uh, these uh, uh, for these uh, buildable figures you got the handle you got the stock you know all just uh, pretty basic uh, with the red and black uh, color scheme you got the scope on top it looks cool and yeah so on this side you got uh, this um, extra uh, spring-loaded uh, missile uh, holder type thing so you know you can uh, store one extra so yeah uh, you can just fire by pulling the trigger and you know it, it fires uh, pretty well and 
yeah, it does uh, look great. But aside from that, that's uh, pretty much it for the blaster. So overall conclusion of this set here, so how do I think of it? Um, well, the, the figure itself here, I think um, the build is um, uh, great and yeah, it looks uh, good and I like the head mold for the figure, it looks uh, very nice and um, I like all the prints and stuff, uh, they are all great and you know, I, I like uh, this tubing as well. So yeah, the but the figure is uh, a little bit uh, plain. They could have add, added maybe more printing on it uh, on the this chest piece maybe. But you know, um, this is a, a pretty cheap uh, figure for uh, considering uh, that this is a buildable figure. Um, this is the cheapest buildable figure and also the cheapest Last Jedi set out of the entire uh, Last Jedi wave. So. Yeah, it's um, it, it's good enough. So I guess if you want a cheap, um, cheap buildable figure, then yeah, I guess uh, this is um, a way to go. And you know, um, this blaster build here, you know, it's uh, pretty basic, but it's good enough. And yeah, like um, overall, I think this is a uh, pretty solid set, and I think the price is um, great. But um, yeah, uh, so if you want to buy the set, I'll put a buy link down in the description, description box below along with all my social media pages down in the description. So if you like my channel, make sure to subscribe right here and watch more videos right here. So that's it for, it. That's it for the video. Thanks for watching and I will see you very soon.